So hello guys and welcome back to another video on the Marshall Gaming YouTube channel. Today we are going to be discussing not Football Air Manager which you can see on the screen right now um, but another IRL review. So uh, yesterday's review was the Liverpool vs uh, My United game um, and obviously today is the Rangers one so we'll be having a look at both of them. Uh, to see, well, at Rangers he's won, just to see what the stats were looking like and everything like that. So, uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like the video, subscribe, uh, and uh, turn on the post notifications uh, so you don't ever miss when a video goes live. Uh, follow me over on Twitch, which I am going to be starting streaming, but only on my days off from work. So, maybe Wednesdays and then when I get uh, uh, weeks off as well, but you'll get a a, a YouTube uh, notification about that because I would have put a video up about that or something like that. So please do uh, subscribe to me over there and uh, follow me and stuff like that as well. So onto the video itself. So um, so Motherwell v Rangers was uh, Sunday. Um, pretty good game. Uh, in terms of chances, we should have won this by an absolute barrel load. And I mean a barrel load. Um, just having a look at the stats here, I mean, 16 total shots for us and 13 on target. Absolutely ridiculous. And then they had 5 shots and uh, 4 on target with only 27% possession. We had uh, 73% absolutely ridiculous that we didn't get a a win from this game and that could have maybe uh, put us like 24 clear of Celtic because the now we are if we have a look aye we're 21 clear of Celtic but they've got 3 games in hand so as I say like and as I've said to everybody um, we're not there yet but we should be we should be there in the next few weeks at the title I should say um, in the next few weeks in the next few months we should be there because um, I always forget that the that the, that the season always uh, runs to like May and stuff like that so uh, we should be massively massively there um, so just having a look at the stats they're all in our favour past success 87% 526 accurate passes, 9 uh, fills from us, 10 from them, 10 corners for us, 1 for them. It's all in our favour. As I say, we're Rangers, it's like, they need to be taking their chances a lot more in games like this because we need wins in these games. Um, I know like we're 21 clear and stuff like that, but that doesn't really matter. What matters is um, that we're still getting victories because as I was uh, saying to uh, somebody yesterday uh, what about if we didn't have won the game before uh, Antwerp and we go into that game we lose it and everything like that and then we lose the next one and then we're out of the Europa League and stuff so there you go it's always to do with the first it's always to do with the game before um, until obviously it's always to do with the game before if you go into the next game with a really decent mentality and stuff like that because if you're like just say, I don't know, for example if Rangers were playing St Mirren on the Saturday and we've got the Antwerp game on Thursday right and say that's a 1-1 draw at Ibrox, we're not going into the Antwerp game with a good mentality. Antwerp can end up beating us, they're a good enough side to beat us. Um, as I say, it's only one bad result, as I was saying to people, it's only one bad result, we've had a lot of good results this year, even in old firms and big matches and stuff like that, um, and it's just a really, really decent way of uh, showing that we're, that we're ready, we're ready for the title, we need it, we want it and stuff like that and one bad game is just not going to 
it's not going to give us it's not going to make a heat drop or anything like that because as because as the stats are saying they're no they're no as bad as we they're pointing out they are bad in terms of we should have won that game by an absolute barrel wood but at the end of the day Motherwell I should have created a lot more chances against us because they're a good enough side to do it and also as I say we should have won this game by a barrel load we should have won this game by about 5 goals to 1 or something um, and it's just absolutely mental that we didn't but as I say to somebody yesterday one bad game one bad game we can allow for that we can allow for that um, that's all I've really got to say on it there's no much you can say really about Rangers um, just brilliant team just go doing that road of drawn games all the time and stuff like that and it's it, it's annoying and I understand why people are angry about this result because we created so many good chances but at the end of the day as I say we created those chances we didn't score we need to accept that we need to move on get into the next game and stuff like that I think actually who our next game is against I need to have a look at that actually um, our next game is Ross County on the 23rd, so that will be Saturday, maybe? Aye, Saturday. So we've got Ross County on Saturday, so we should be them. We've got Hibs during the week. We've got Cove Rangers, which has been postponed, and then we didn't play again until the 3rd against St Johnston, so pretty decent games, but we need to get wins, we need to keep piling on the, on the pressure on the Celtic, because as I say three games in hand, that's still quite a lot, and they could try and get back in back in the title race so, you never know, you never know what's going to happen in this league, I don't think it's going to happen, but it could so that will be the end of the video guys, I hope you have enjoyed, please do remember as I say, to subscribe to the channel smash a like on the video and uh, subscribe and uh, turn on the post notifications uh, so you don't ever uh, miss when a video goes live. And I will see you guys uh, in the next IRL review. See ya.